Alright, hey welcome back guys, uh, welcome to another video, it's me Legix and in today's video we're gonna go quick, we're gonna quickly go over the new weapons that are coming in the Dipstone Crypt raid, so yeah let's check them out. So the first one we're gonna go over is the Succession Sniper Rifle, it's uh, 72 RPM, the same as Revoker. This is the curated uh, role, or that's the role that the game is, want, wants us to show. And it's got Vorpal Weapon, increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians in their, with their super active. Then we got no distractions, aiming this weapon for a short period reduces flinch. Then we got Tactical Mag, Arrowhead Break, and Hammer for Trifling. And it's got its uh, extra mod socket, all the raid weapons are going to come with. And you can see all the mods that are going to be able to be equipped. Then we have the Bequest Sword. Uh, I like the design of the sword. Looks very samurai, futuristic samurai type of uh, sword with the curb, the blade, etc. Then we got Assassin's Blade, sword kills, boost, movement speed, and damage. Then we got Killing Wind, final blows grant increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. And then we got all the standard Assassin's Blade, I think it's a new one, I've never seen one in the sword. And then we got its uh, socket. Then we have the Trusty Scout Rifle. This is a 260 RPM. If I'm not mistaken, it's a new RPM archetype. And it comes with a new perk, a new trait called Redirection. Damage in rank and file combines increases damage against more powerful ones. Interesting perk. Then we got Under Pressure, improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. Uh, drop Mag, magazine drops and below wasting ammunition but greatly increases reload speed. And then we got Arrowhead Break and Hammer Burst Rifle. Then we got the Prosperity, um, a 180 RPM hand cannon, which is kind of uh, disappointing, I guess. But it comes with a really inter interesting new perk called One for All. Hitting three separate targets increases damage for a moderate duration. Why it's kind of disappointing? Because right, the most popular hand cannons are the 140s now, and the 180s don't don't see that many that many much action. So yeah. It also comes with Genesis, breaking combat shield with this weapon fills its magazines from reserves. Energy weapons regenerate ammo on hit when ma matching the damage type to the combat shield. And then we got an extended mag, which increases your magazine, then I have a break, and I'm a hammer for Draken. The good thing about the 180s is that it's a precision frame and you don't need an Icarus grip, so you can put in a, an extended mod, an extended mag mod and it can go up to like maybe 15, 16. Now we got the Heritage Shotgun. Uh, it's a 65 RPM precision frame, so basically Bungie is pushing really hard on the slug shotties. This is a slug shotty, but it comes with two new, pra uh, two new traits uh, called Recombination Elemental Final Blows. Increase the damage of this weapon's next shot. And then we got Reconstruction, this weapon slowly re reloads itself of time up to double capacity which sounds to the infection from Destiny 1 Dragon. Then we got Assault Mag, Arrowhead Break, and Hammer for Trifle, and the mod. And last but not least, we got the Commemoration which is a uh, machine gun, our second, second machine gun that comes with the DLC. And the only other that you can infuse it to, the, to a higher power level and it's a, a 450 RPM so the same as Hammerhead and it doesn't come with any new traits that you can see here we just have to have under pressure improved stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower hitting frenzy each rapid kill with this weapon progressively increases reload speed for a short time tactical mag arrowhead break and hammer for tractor and yeah those are the raid weapons uh, the, the new raid weapons from the big from the Deep Stone Crypt, and I gotta say, they look awesome. They look pretty, uh, very dope. They look, they look dope, and bring new traits. Uh, hopefully, they're just gonna be on the raid weapons, so that they can make them really exclusive and and feel unique. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. So and yeah, man, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.